I know I've forgotten something. Like, I know I've forgotten something. For airport prices, I want to murder you for them. Have you ever thought of the idea of, of airport prices? Give me your name, give me your number, give me your address. Obviously, everyone knows you don't wear socks or sandals, and if you do, you're crazy. Like, I always choose, like, fashion over comfort, but I needed glasses to, like, protect my eyes for real. I can't lie, I did steal these from my brother. Oh, God, I feel like I'm overpacking. Like, I know I'm overpacking, actually, because this is ridiculous. I'm going for four days. I don't need these many shoes. I've, I've had this, honestly, for, like, three years now, and I wear it on every, like, minor inconvenience. Just Oh my god, I'm actually looking at my bag now and I don't know if it's all gonna fit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Apologies for the lighting, it is 1.30am and I basically just can't make it. I can't go to a place where there's more light than this, so this is gonna have to be for today. But today, as you've seen from the title, it's gonna be a come pack with me. There is a huge pile of clothes on the other side of the room and it's actually like shocking how big it is. Like. It's not even like they're like, oh, it's my, my camera room is so messy, girl, type of vibe. No, it's messy. It's mental. Look at that. Look at that pile of clothes. Anyways, so today we're going to do a pack with me. For the first time, I'm actually bringing a suitcase because I remember this is actually the first flight I booked for the year. This, I booked this in like January. And I paid an extra £40 for luggage. My flight was like £60 and this was £40. So can you imagine like... My flight is 60, and that is 40. Yeah, no. Anyways, I'm never doing that again. I learned that the hard way, but it's good because it makes a good video for today. So today you're gonna be packing with me. So you're gonna see all the things that I need, all the things that I always actually bring when I'm traveling. These are the things that I bring everywhere. So you're not gonna wanna miss this one. I've just put extensions in my hair. Well, not now, but like before. It's like, you know, quite, you know, has a bit of length, has a bit of thickness, which is all I want, you know? This is all I want. Anyways, um, yeah, so we're going to pack it now. Oh my god, I just realised, basically, it's actually currently 1.30am in the morning, and my dad's going to get here at 2.30 to pick me up, to drop me to East Croydon Station. And then from East Croydon Station, we're going to take train to Gatwick. So, I need to be ready in one hour. So I have one hour. At least all the things are down here already. All I need to do is just put them in and um, yeah, that's actually it. That's all that needs to be done. So at least that's fine. Um, not gonna lie, I am gonna steal my brother's shoes. He's actually 11 years old and he has the same size feet as me. How? <laughs> yeah, no, no. That's men like, why does he have big feet? Like, that's really... No, that's not no, that's not normal. I don't know how I don't know what you lot's feet size were when you were in year seven, but that's freakishly large. Honestly though, I can't even chat. I was like five and a half when I was in year seven as well and I just haven't grown. So maybe no, nah, but I doubt he'll stop here honestly. Boys always grow boys' feet are always bigger than girls anyway, so on average. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna do like a typical auntie thing, which is to literally grab this suitcase and weigh it on the measuring scale underneath. Excuse the mess guys by the way, there's like laundry drying here. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I don't actually know why it changed to measuring it in stone. Because it was literally kilograms like two seconds ago. No, no, no. What is it doing? Why is it not? Okay, you know what, I forget it. I'm just gonna hold both of us together like this. Okay. What? <laughs> no. Okay guys, so I've just weighed the suitcase not gonna lie that was so long like what i had to do was because it wasn't measuring the like suitcase when i just put it on the measurer i think it was a bit too light what i did was i measured how much i weighed and then i held the suitcase and then i measured how we weighed together and i just subtracted one from the other quick maths we love that for us and then i've figured out that it's about 3.8 kilograms that's the that's the weight of the suitcase so all i need to do is fiddle up like 19 more kilograms and then we're good to get out I, i'm not gonna lie i've never done this before so i don't actually know how much 19 kilograms will be that's probably a lot i can't lie that's probably a wait oh my god no i can only fit up 10 kilograms so i've changed to a tractor as you can tell because i just want to be ready when my dad comes to pick us to pick me up um Oh, if I didn't mention already, I'm going with Martine and my friend and we're picking her up where she lives on the way to the station. What am I missing? I need to... I need to... It's 1.45. No, but all jokes aside, my eyes look good in this. Guys, I just opened the suitcase and I found a pair of, like... <laughs> these in there. 
I think they're actually mine, you know. I think I must have bought them for like year 12, sixth form. And I just forgot to return them. Because they literally, like, they have the tag on everything. Um, so I was obviously planning to detain them back. So guys, we're going to start off with shoes first, of course. So we've got, because basically, I'm going to Nice in France, if I didn't tell you already. I don't think I said that. But I'm going to Nice in France, right? And the weather actually is, is good. I can't lie. Like, it's like 22, 23 degrees the whole week, which is great. And it doesn't look like there's going to be any rain. So we've got a little bit of, like, sliders, you know what I mean? Of course. Also, we put them like this because it's just easier. Actually, mm, that's going to be dirty. No, no, no. Forget what I said. We're not putting them. No, no, no. Because we're going to be doing a lot of walking, I've got comfy shoes, like running shoes, which are so comfortable. I take this to the gym every time I go. Comfy. And then, I can't lie, I did steal these from my brother. These are the ones I'm talking about. I have like a whole blue outfit. So I had to, and I'm sorry, yeah, he took my shoes the other day. Um, he took my shoes the other day without telling me. So, karma, karma, baby, karma, karma. Oh God, I feel like I'm overpacking, like... I know I'm overpacking actually because this is ridiculous. I'm going for four days. I don't need these many shoes. Air Forces classics. Remember why do you, I always have to overpack, don't I? Anyways, I mean you know what? If you give me the opportunity to overpack, I will take it with all my hands. And then we've got a pair of heels for like a night out. You know what I mean? It's not looking good, bro. It's not looking good, bro. Now we have all the black stuff because <laughs> child. I don't want anything to be dirty, you know what I mean? Anyway, these are my trousers, these are gonna go in there. They're just a pair of ripped jeans. And as you can see, they are inside out, but as you can imagine, they're just normal mom ripped jeans because for like when you like because I clocked, even when I went to like Lanzarote, obviously it's like <laughs> warm during the day, but then after in the night it gets like cold, so I need jeans. Just four. Because in Lanzarote, I remember I was wearing jeans every single time I went out in the evening. So We've got a good old fashioned blazer. Never gets old. I love them. Because I have like a dress for like a night out. Um, and I feel like this will go so, so nicely with it. It's just like classy vibes. Um, I don't know where I've got these. Honestly, actually no, H&M. Get them. Honestly, H&M has actually become my new favourite shop now. Like, I love their clothes and I love it all. Like, I am totally obsessed. Like, literally obsessed. Now we have good old super dry. My fave. Look at it. So I like the super dry look at the back, the super dry thing on the badge. <sighs> it's, it's nice. I've, I've had this honestly for like three years now and I wear it on every like minor inconvenience. Like, I'm not joking. It's my absolute go-to. Guys, by the way, I just want to say something. Oh my god. Oh my god. Basically, I took these keys. I basically, because I work for an agency, I worked at like a, bar, a pub the other day and this is the second time I've got to give them their keys back. But honestly, this time they haven't even rang me up to ask me for them back. I think they've just like given up on me because that's and that's kind of embarrassing. But I'm never going back there again unless they like ask me to return the keys. Otherwise, I'm like, God, I'm going to keep them in the jacket just just in case I might as well have them on my person. I don't know why, but I can't be asked to get up and put them over. <laughs> oh my God, how can I just find my credit card? Girl, bye. Where the heck is my purse? Like, I literally need my card because sometimes when you go to a foreign country, sometimes they don't take Apple Pay, so it's like sometimes you do be needing your card. And like the fact that I was about to leave in this jacket, which I was not even 100% gonna bring, like, what does that say about me? What does that say about me, guys? Honestly, don't tell me. I don't wanna know. It's, oh my god, I'm actually looking at my bag now, and I don't know if it's all gonna fit. I can't even lie to you, you know. It's gonna be the struggle to fit everything in here. Oh my actual goodness me. You know what? No, I'm putting this in the tent. I don't care. I want the, the important stuff to go in first, can't I? These shorts, I bought them today from H&M. They're so cute. They're so, so cute. Honestly, H&M does increase their prices like tremendously. Like I'm sorry, but before, I'm, I'm sure these used to be like 12 pounds and I paid 20 pounds for them. I don't know why I didn't even check. You know what? I don't wanna sound like a bougie girl. I did not check the price for this um because my mentality was like oh you know what <laughs> they're closing in about five minutes <laughs> i'm just gonna and they're changing rooms will close as well so my mindset was just like just pick every anything you want pay for it keep the receipt and take a picture of it in case you need to return anything thank god i didn't need to return no i'm returning two dresses but that's actually it and i paid i spent like 100 i'm not gonna say how much i spent but anyways yeah that was mad okay it is inside out, but I'm rushing because I only have about, if you can see on the clock over there, 
I have about 40 minutes to get, you know what, no, I haven't got time, can't I? I also need to eat, but anyways, this is, like, it is so cute, I love it so much, it's, oh my god, beautiful, I, I'm obsessed with it, I love it, I love it, I love it, so, so much, one of my favourites ever to be made, ever, and that's saying something, I'm not that easily impressed, but I, anyway, I feel like I talk at a million miles per hour, like my brain just, like, thinking of different topics every single second, like, Look guys, this is how I put my stuff in the bag, like, this was the top I was just wearing a minute ago. Tiny now. Can easily fit in my bag. Now, if I put that jacket in, all the space will be gone within a minute. Oh, why is my back hurt? I mean, I have a back of a, like, 90 year old. It's actually very embarrassing, I don't even care. No, I do care. I'm trying to pack all my tops first, right? Because obviously, that's a smart move to make. And I'm, but also, I'm gonna put all like the little things um, in, like you know, like how there's like like a net part of a suitcase. Honestly, guys, I don't know if the hair is herring like it's meant to be herring, because <laughs> because I can see it from a distance. It kind of looks like it's like big, like it does look sleek straight. And it, I know it's not sleek straight, but I thought it would look sleek straight. Um, but I mean, obviously not. Anyways, I don't care. I need to go. That's not my main priority right now, babe. Oh my god, this is the cutest! I'm so excited about this. Oh my god, I can't wait to wear it. It is such nice summer vibes, like beach vibes, like everything vibes. Oh my god, I love it. Like this dress, I bought it today from H&M as well, guys. I'm telling you, H&M. It's the new pretty, pretty long thing. I mean, H&M has always been popping, but I feel like everyone was obsessed with H&M in like year seven, and then we just all stopped wearing H&M. And then now, me, guys, if you want to see what it looks like on me, follow my Instagram at Rumi Yob. So, I'm going to speed up because my storage is running low. Anyway, this is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. It has, like, the, the cutout. So, it looks like a cohort, but then at the back, you can see it's a dress. Okay, period, queen. Let me take this tag off ASAP because this is beautiful. And it was only 15 quid. Obsessed. Love it. Obsessed. Love it. Obsessed. Okay, like, that's put it in. Stuff. Okay, now, okay, these are, everything is inside out. I don't know why. Here you go. These are the black shorts. Your average cycle short anyways i'm so glad that i only wear crop tops because they fit in so so easily oh this is oh my god i bought this today as well i bought bare things today honestly most of the tops you're going to see in this haul i I bought today basically it's like this rich little thing um ties around here a little hole neck whatever vibe going on here um and you know is that is all we have to deal for this one and you know um honestly i'm just going to do this because i don't care um Perfection. It's just it's white though. That's the only concern. Now, guys, this is another pair of mom jeans that um, but they're blue. They're blue. They're blue. Because everybody needs a blue pair of mom jeans, you know. If you don't have a blue pair of mom jeans, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, I was saying these were already the right way around, and I turned them inside out like an absolute idiot. Um, but basically, as you can tell, I'm actually rushing. But this video just showed you how fast I can actually be, and why I leaping to the last minute because i can work well under pressure go with me mom jeans check these are really really cute i love these i got these from primark get them they're freaking cute i got these last year 2021 like may so don't know if they're still there but check they're in oh okay it's really hard to like tuck jeans in especially primark ones because they're not stretchy low quality but good prices who cares this is just like your average like top this is your average crop top i don't care like it's just like one of them ones where you just put it on with anything. Like you can put it on a pair of joggers or a pair of dress it up just down, no one actually gives it. no one cares. This is an Adidas like top. Very like summery, like very, very, very thin. Very nice just to like if it's like let's say like 16 degrees on a like summer evening, like this is what I would put on, you know? Adidas. Yeah. I used to hate this actually fun fact. Um, and then I started to like it after it proved useful to me. Basically, I don't normally like anything, but then once I've seen that it proves useful to me, then I love you. Same with people, honestly. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. That was actually a very good joke. Oh, it was a bad joke. It was a bad joke. But yeah, don't believe what I just said. This is not, <laughs> not who I am. I'm joking. This is just like a checkered like cardigan. Um, it's like a shirt slash cardigan thing. And this is the, the same reason. The reason why I'm bringing it is the same as the reason why I just told you about the white Adidas thing, because it's just like them thing we just put over when it's like kind of cold, but it's still summer. You get me? So it's like summer breeze, summer breeze. But it's gonna be cold if you just wear like normal summer clothes. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. Come on, don't I? Don't you? This one, 
Wow, my varsity jacket, I love it. Boohoo, oh god, the best clothes in the world. Anyways, I'm gonna wear this to the airport, so I'm gonna dash it over there like that. Um, great. Now, oh my god, wait a day, a minute. Oh, my shorts, I love them. I bought these today as well. Um, these are beautiful. The best shorts I've ever, I've ever bought in my life. So, so, so elastic and so stretchy. Uh, so comfortable, the best, the most comfortable uh, shorts I've ever had. Uh, well, and they have like that little detailing and they have like, like scissor, scissor cut like type of uh, material at the bottom which I love so much um, it just it just gives it that edge you know very edgy very cool and that little like graphic design on the edge of it is just blank it's just like the je ne sais quoi you know what guys the feeling of being in a rush is kind of fun it gives me like a lot of adrenaline like more than I already have already in my body all of this is going in here and I'm going up here in the sky because I'm flying out tonight. I just made that up on the spots are actually quite a good one. But anyways, um, hats, a cap, a little cap for the culture. Oh, this kind of looks cute. I'm not wearing it tonight. Yeah, no, not for the lighting though. I'm gonna wear it to the airport though, honestly. Our uh, famous bucket hat. Why would I be like that? Um, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, I thought my mum was like coming down because she had me talking. Right, okay. Let's just hope I got a pass on that. I've been chatting the most. I don't even, I can't even remember what I was talking about. That's how much rubbish I've been talking, honestly. Um, but we've got the PJs. So basically, fun fact about the, these pyjamas, right? I actually, so they're like silk. Um, it has like the little, this is the top part of it. It has like a little collar over here. So it's, you know, it's like bougie, but it's like, it's like classy bougie. Even though they're pyjamas, they're still pyjamas, babes, but they're still beauty. <sighs> so I have to get tired of speaking. No. Um, these are the bottoms. Very, very, very long for me and very, very wide. No. I don't know. I, this is meant to be a small. I'm just like in between, like, did I lose weight or did I just, was it always this big for me? Or like, as in like, it's pretty little thing sizing is crazy. Like, I don't remember it being this big for me, but it is. Anyways, these are the only pyjamas I actually have washed right now. So these are the ones that I'm going to have to take. Um, these are just getting dashed in here. Fun fact, I actually like bought them because I was my friend was having a like pyjama party in when I was like on the first sixteenth birthday. No, first seventeenth birthday. So we all came wearing like Victoria's Victoria's Angels like type of silk pyjamas, which were really, really cute honestly. Good picture from that day. But also I've got this. Okay, freshly washed. I've got this as well, just in case I get a bit cold because they are very thin. As you can imagine. Oh guys, can't lie, my back is hurting me. Oh my god. Oh, I'm having like a 70 year old and like 18 year old body. <gasps> Big way my age. Anyways, sorry boys. <laughs> I have issues. I'm actually funny, guys. I'm just, oh god, damn it. Oh yeah, I'm still in my house and straighten as well. Sorry, mum. I know you straighten me every day, but this is gonna have to go with me. Like, I'm sorry, mum. I'm very sorry. But on to be honest, she has like a little the brush straightener thing. Um, and her hair's already straightened, so she just needs to like top it off. Same with me, but my hair is like already kind of puffy, so I need a bit more help than a brush straightener. As you can tell with curly hair, it doesn't work. Also, if you're wondering, oh my god, like straighteners, I'm trying to curl it like this, and it's just like trying to whack me in the face. Calm down. Right, I always have this fear that like I'm gonna forget something, but usually when I forget something, I always have a feeling that I forgot something, guys. I know you can relate. Well, hopefully you can relate, because I'm not crazy. But don't, doesn't everyone have like this feeling where it's like, I know I forgot something. Like I know I forgot something. Okay, look, great. This is my uh, laptop charger going in here. I can actually take my laptop. My God, I'm so excited about that. My actual goodness, I've never been able to take my laptop because it doesn't fit in my small backpack. But today I'm taking it, which is great news. I just don't have a, like a. Oh, that's gonna be bad. You know what? I'm just gonna like put my laptop in between all my clothes so that it doesn't like. If they like throw it or something, like it doesn't break. <laughs> because I don't have a laptop case. The famous adapters that that I got for like fifteen pound at the airport. Sorry, airport prices. I want to murder you for them. Have you ever thought of the idea of, of airport prices? Give me your name. Give me your number. Give me your address because I'm gonna hunt you down and. I have a conversation with you. You thought I was gonna say something crazy, didn't you? Get your head out of the gutter. Or get your head out of the violence. I have like 3D whitening strips. Um, what can I say? High maintenance, babe. I'm not though. 
<laughs> anyway, these are getting my these are going in, in my um, the net part as well. I'm gonna take you home. All the clothes are in the bag. All the clothes are in the actual bag. I'm really happy about that. Now all that's left is so like I've got just a little bits of bob to so like a, a toothbrush thingy thing for my edges. Even though I know that I'm not gonna use gel and I haven't bought gel, it's just like to make my forehead look a little bit smaller. Just like to go like that. No, I don't know what that did. It didn't do anything honestly, but just to make it feel better. But this is the this is the one thing that stopped me from getting forehead reduction surgery, guys. So thank her. Thank her. Uh, we've got a little razor in here. Um, we've got aloe vera cream. Oh my god, I got it from Lanzarote. Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, like oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe how I can't believe it's made. Uh, deodorant, nail clippers that I can uh, clip my nails and paint my nails with nail polish. This white white nail polish um, for my black slippers, because obviously everyone knows you don't wear socks and sandals, and if you do, you're crazy. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> obviously my disposal wouldn't go anywhere without it. I only have five left, so. Yeah, I can't wait to get them um, developed, I cannot wait, like, I've been waiting for time. Bristle brush for these, you know, to flatten it down like it's just done. Look at this. The difference between this and this. But anyway, that's all it takes, guys. Just a bit of flattening, period. Well, usually. Didn't do the job this time, but I don't really care. Um, so anyway, this is going in my bag. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what the hell did I just do? Oh my goodness. I just broke yeah we've got this toothbrush um obviously i can never forget this beauty um my just my bag for every day um i'm not going to be carrying a huge handbag as i i am bringing a handbag but i'm not going to be carrying it around everywhere so this is just my little go-to of course obviously there are like pickpockets in france and stuff so i'm not trying to carry a big handbag like, at all i have like a whole bag full of makeup I kind of have to like take all the liquids out and put them by themselves though because I'm going to have to put it in a plastic bag when I get to the airport. Oh guys, another thing about me is that I lost my airpods, you know, for the first time ever. I've had airpods for free years, so I've never lost them, but like in the past month I've lost both. Um, and honestly the weird thing is that I still have the case, so I don't know, I don't even know what to say about that honestly. Well, I got these glasses, they're not the cutest, but they block out the sun like they're meant to do, so I, I had to get them. I did, like I always choose like fashion over comfort, but I needed glasses to like protect my eyes for real. Um, and yeah, honestly, oh yeah, also I'm bringing a tight bag, um, as like the cabin bag or whatever. And yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much, oh, actually no way, before I do that I'm going to have to weigh it and tell you guys the results of that.